Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two chords, A, C, and uh, B, C, put together inside the quarter circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the chord uh, A, C is uh, square root of two units long, whereas this chord B, C is uh, one unit. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded quarter circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle. So therefore we must uh, calculate uh, the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle first. And since we are dealing with just the quarter circle, and now we are going to focus uh, on the full uh, circle as you can see over here. And here is our quarter circle. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this angle uh, ACB. In other words, uh, we are looking at this angle uh, ACB over here. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. And now let's focus on this uh, arc uh, AB. And we can see that this uh, arc AB is being subtended by this angle ACB at the circumference. So therefore the very same arc uh, AB is being subtended uh, by this uh, angle uh, at the center. And now we know that this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees and we know that whole uh, cycle is uh, 360 degrees. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle is going to be 270 degrees. So therefore according to this uh, central angle theorem this angle at the circumference is going to be half of this angle at the center. If this angle is 270, then this angle at the circumference is going to be 135 degrees. So therefore, our this angle ACB turns out to be 135 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this angle ACB is going to be 135 degrees. And in this uh, next step, I have connected this point A and uh, point B. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AO is the radius of this uh, quarter circle. Let me label this one as uh, lowercase r. Likewise, OB is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me label this uh, longest leg, the hypotenuse, uh, as uh, side c. I'm going to label this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, r square plus uh, r square equal to c square. So therefore, if we combine the like terms, c square is going to be 2 times uh, r square. And now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, c value turns out to be r times uh, square root of uh, 2. And we know that uh, c represents the side length uh, ab. So therefore, our this uh, ab length uh, turns out to be r times square root of 2. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ACB. And now let's recall the law of uh, cosines. We got these uh, three law of uh, cosines as you can see for this uh, given triangle. And we are going to use this uh, law of cosines C square equal to A square plus B square minus 2 times AB cosine of uh, gamma. And here this angle is our gamma. This side is our lowercase a, this side is our lowercase b, and this side is our lowercase c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, law of cosines formula. So therefore we can write this one as uh, r times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square equals to 
1 square plus square root of 2 whole square minus 2 times 1 times square root of 2 times cosine of 135 degrees. And now we can see that cosine of 135 degrees is negative square root of 2 divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, cosine of 135 degrees by negative square root of 2 divided by 2 over here. And now let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, r square equal to 1 plus uh, 2. And if we simplify everything uh, over here, that uh, turns out to be simply positive uh, 2. So therefore, 2 times r square equals to 5. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate r square. So therefore, our r square value turns out to be 5 divided by 2. So therefore, our r square value turns out to be 5 divided by 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle, so therefore the quarter circle area is going to be this area, pi r square divided by 4. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle. So that is going to be equal to pi divided by 4 times uh, our r square value is 5 divided by 2. So if we simplify the right hand side, the area of this uh, quarter circle is going to be 5 pi divided by 8 square units. And if we put this one in decimal form, so the area of this uh, quarter circle is going to be approximately equal to 1.96 square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, yellow quarter circle turns out to be 5 pi divided by 8 square units. And that could be approximately equal to 1.96 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye